Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Anna Maria and in this video I want to tell you about a day in my life and how it happens because I like watching these kind of videos myself. Sometimes I can see some tips and tricks and I can implement them in my own life and I can see what other people are doing and I feel that I'm more connected with others. Cool. So I don't have a perfect lighting right now, but I hope it's gonna be pretty fine when you watch this video. So, um, what happened with me this morning? I got up. <laughs> so I find it very difficult to wake up in the morning, to get up from the bed. It's really difficult for me. I'm a night owl and I'm struggling with this so, so, so much. And I can't just get up from the bed and that's it. It's a whole process for me. I need to first of all wake up, stay a bit in bed and slowly and gradually get up the bed. I don't know if you have the same, it's a problem in the modern world when we have to start work very early. Um, I would say it depends on like your work and um, if it's a problem or not. But in order to feel good the whole day, I have to be extremely careful how I get up. I can't just get up. I have to gradually and very, very, very slowly wake up and get up from the bed. And then I feel good the whole day. And I have noticed that if I just got up straight away from the bed, I feel very weird. Sometimes it's like dark in my eyes and I can't see anything for like a few seconds. Um, and then I feel really bad and even coffee doesn't help me. So this is why I have a whole process to get up. Uh, after that, I obviously go have some coffee. I drink some water, of course. That's very, very important. I try to drink water. And um, yeah, and we had a beautiful morning. We had snow and it's very bright and then it's sunny as well. So it's very bright and nice. So I get my energy from the sun whenever it's very dark um, I try to have like coffee I yeah, drink probably a bit more coffee and I try to either communicate with people or I don't know do some more exercising to bring the energy inside me because sometimes I feel like I can't do anything I don't want to do anything so I need to set my mind to work and it's been really difficult, especially from home, <laughs> but I'm trying to work on it and I'm trying to have dedicated hours for work. Another cool thing that I'm doing and that helps me is I use one of my favorite perfumes. I have a few perfumes and sometimes depending on my mood, I use the perfume. So this morning I'm gonna use this um, La, Vie, La Vie Belle perfume. I really love it and it's pretty strong, so I just need to spray it once. Yeah. Mm, very nice. This perfume, reminds me of um, achievement like when i feel this smell i understand that i can achieve everything this perfume reminds me of those days before covid of those days when i used to go for coffee in starbucks or insomnia or i don't know in costa and i used to sit down enjoy an amazing coffee eat a croissant i really like m and croissants um, talk to my colleagues, um, give them a morning call, enjoy the atmosphere around me and everything was so beautiful and so nice and so amazing and all this coffee and morning routine was blended with this perfume. So from then I still have these associations with this perfume and I really love it. I really, really love it. So I don't know, if you have something that reminds you of nice times, I would try to implement this in life because when as I feel the smell, I want to achieve something, I want to do something, I want to call someone, I want to go for a walk. So it's something very cool and I really love this perfume because just because of the associations I have with it. Well guys, now I talked so much, I need to go to work. So what I am gonna do, I'm gonna try to do the most important tasks right now. So these are gonna be work tasks because I'm working today. So I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna make a plan of what's the most important and I'll do it right now. Usually in when I have days off, I do the most important task. Like for example, writing a script, that would be very important because I need to put a lot of mental energy, I need to think about the content and it takes time and obviously I'm trying to do the most important things that will bring me the highest return on the investment first when I have a lot of energy. And I leave execution for later in the day. So I do not clean the house in the morning, never. Like I stopped doing it, I used to do it, but I stopped doing it, no. In the morning I do things that will bring me some sort of return on the investment, but in terms of cleaning the house, I 
I will do it later in the evening, in the afternoon, whenever I'm not so full of energy. Now give me two seconds, guys. I think I got... No, I did not get a message. I just need to double check if I got a message at work. I leave execution for later. Execution are those tasks that have to be done, that I know how to do them and I just have to waste my time and do them. Like not waste my time, but just do them. So I leave them for later, but I use my best energy to do the best, the most difficult activities that will bring me something, that will bring me some return on the investment. So yeah, so uh, that will mean writing a Brexit script very soon. I want to talk about Brexit because I start to feel how Brexit influences me and uh, other companies. And again, Ireland is a very dependent country on the UK in terms of exports and imports. So it would be interesting to see what's going to happen with Brexit. So I need to write a script. Cool, guys. Let's say that I need to run for my webinar. I need to do a few work tasks, then write the Brexit script. And I will talk to you a bit later. So, guys, I'm out for a walk. Look at this. The snow. <laughs> Yeah, it's very, very nice, very lovely. Um, so yeah, I felt that I was procrastinating and I told myself that no, I need to get out. I need to go for a walk and just get my steps in and feel very good. Have you guys heard about the sandwich approach? So the sandwich approach is when, for example, in the morning you go for a nice, nice, lovely walk and this tunes you in and you start working. When you work and in the evening you go for a walk again and that tunes you out of work and then you can go back home and feel like you can relax. Because sometimes it's very, very hard, you know, to stop working. Oh guys, look at this. It's so much snow. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, somebody's running near me. <laughs> yeah, but everything is so beautiful. So yeah. It's a lovely park and usually people are just running here. I just finished my work and I had a webinar and I didn't finish the work, but I just have a lunch break. So I am going to get myself something to eat very quickly. After that, um, actually not after, but during lunch, I'm gonna think about my e-guide and I'll try to think what kind of improvements I can make. Now, what I wanted to tell you about my e-guide. Do you know guys, I've been enjoying doing it so, 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 so much. I understand that creating brings me so much satisfaction in life and brings me so much um, joy. I really love it. I'm very happy that loads of people found my guide useful and keep in mind guys that whoever got the first edition will receive the, first, the second edition for free. And I made a lot of notes here about your feedback, everything else you want to see in the e-guide and wasn't there. So you'll receive it in the second edition. This is why everything is right here, is ready for you, prepared. So I'm going to include everything into the second edition, make it a bit more interesting. Thing. Um, so yeah, I hope it will be useful for you guys because I want to make something that will give you a lot of value and that will help you to move to Ireland. So yeah, another thing is that I need to learn how to export my e-guide into an e-book version because I have a PDF version so I need to work on to learning how to do it in EPUB. This is a, uh, an e-book format so I found Adobe InDesign so most likely I'll have to learn how to use Adobe InDesign to translate transfer the format from PDF into an ebook format. Um, so yeah, um, you can do it actually to let you know if you want to do an ebook format, you can do use Google Docs, online Google Docs. So you can export um, a document into the .epub format. So then you can use an ebook format. But I did not like it at all because it was look really really bad but if you need something very basic you can use Google Docs like online Google Docs. I know that all kind of creation making something new will also always include some kind of challenges and I'm always ready for them but uh, yeah I've been enjoying creating it so 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 much and I think why I'm doing the second guide for free I'll tell you why this is actually a thing that I've learned in college and finally college gave me something good. <laughs> so we were discussing the Four Seasons Hotel example. So Four Seasons Hotel um, is trying to obviously provide you the best customer service, but how do you understand what's the best customer service? The best customer service is when you match and slightly exceed people's expectations. So I understood that by creating my guide, I have to obviously understand 
match and slightly exceed my customers' expectations. So obviously I try to understand to whom I'm selling it, why people need the guide, how they will use it and stuff like this. And obviously it's very hard to guess, especially if you're doing something for the first time. This is why I decided to release the first edition to get feedback and obviously implement all that feedback into the second edition. That would mean um, matching my customers' expectations, and then I will also add a few more and extra things that will slightly exceed my customers' expectations to make sure that everyone was very happy with getting their e-guide. So this is the reason for making the second edition free for those who got the first edition. So yeah, cool guys, now I'm quickly gonna enjoy my lunch, keep thinking about my e-guide, trying to implement more ideas, and then we'll try to go for a walk because it's such a beautiful beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. I'm enjoying it so much. And yeah, I'll see you very soon. So guys, this is my lunch. It does not look perfect, but I do have an avocado toast with poached egg and some um, paprika powder, yeah, some olives, and also these are Mm, mushrooms with some parmesan cheese. I know I need to have more veggies, but that was everything I had in the fridge. So yeah, I'm quickly gonna eat and go for a walk. So guys, I'm getting ready to film the video about Brexit. There is my water. I always keep drinking some water every time I have a video. So yeah, and there is my nice candle as well. It is a lovely present from a friend. So yeah, we'll get ready to film the Brexit video right now. So guys, I came from a walk. I finished my work from today and I have a few more tasks left to do this evening. So that's my video. I'm gonna have a bit of a dinner. I try not to have a dinner too late to be able to sleep well. Then I'll have to prepare and um, get ready for my Patreon content because I do try to make some Patreon exclusive content. So this month it's a video that I have to edit. Um, then I will edit another video and I will read a book about investment. So I really enjoy learning more about finance, about money. So I'm just gonna read the book, do a few bits on Instagram, post a few stories and that's it. I'm going to relax and hopefully I'll finish everything by like nine o'clock in the evening and I'll be able to just take a shower, maybe enjoy some ice cream and relax. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Thanks for being with me. And if you like these kind of videos, let me know and I can make more of them because it's nice to inspire from each other to see what kind of things we can implement into each other's lives. So that should be nice. Cool guys, make sure you check my e-guide. My hand is very sore to hold the phone and I wish you all a lovely, lovely day or evening and I will see you in the next video.